What's going on guys, Boss Up A6 here, back to your video, and today I'm here to do my NXT Deadline 2022 predictions. I do want to clarify one thing, or make a disclaimer. One, I apologize for not doing my NXT review because I frankly did not care and the show wasn't that good. And two, I apologize for not having my Dynamite review from last night because migraines suck, folks. I was having a bad, bad, bad headache after work. I literally came out of nowhere and I just didn't have the energy to do it, but... I will say that Ricky Stark's promo and the tag team tie match between uh, FTR and the Acclaimed, that gets a thumbs up for yours truly. But anyways, let's talk about what's going to happen tomorrow night. I'll most likely watch it, just see what happens. And uh, Final Battle is going to be happening tomorrow too. Oh, okay, the only interesting match, honestly, on that card that... Literally got announced on Dynamite is the, do the double dot color match between FTR and the Briscoes from Tactiles. Literally, that's the only thing that's worth interesting on a show. But anyways, that's going to be the, the, the final battle. Let's talk about Deadline. So, the first match that I think might open up the show is going to be the Tactile match between the New Day and Pretty Deadly. New Day appeared on NXT... Literally out of nowhere during that horrible that was that was so bad that horrible Christmas story segment Where it oh god, that was so bad. That was so bad. I think New Day winning would be really interesting because at least it will freshen up the NXT tag division but at the same time what else can you do because they haven't done anything with New Day because what are they, what are they going to do? Challenge from Tag Titles on, on Raw and SmackDown? Well, they've done that like a hundred times. So, send down to NXT. Maybe give them an NXT Tag Title run because they haven't done that before. And I'm sorry, Pretty Deadly, they're a good team, but the presentation is terrible. So, yeah. I'm going to go with New Day, but if Pretty Deadly win, I wouldn't be shocked. And Woods will most likely take the pin. So, next up, we have, we have a battle of the weird... Spoopy gimmicks. We have Isla Dawn versus Kaylee Ray or Alba Fighter. God, her accent is so thick. Jesus. Um, Isla Dawn is probably gonna win. Um, they have to call up Kaylee Ray. They really have to because she's been at NXT for the past two years now. I think it's been two years. Um. Yeah, they just need to do something with her. The call up her on the main roster, have her show up and appear at the Rumble, and have her go on a little bit of run, and then put her on the main roster, because I'm sorry, they need to take her out of NXT. She does not fit there. So yeah, that's my thoughts. And then we get to the Women's Iron Survivor Challenge. So, follow me on the rules here. So, two people start. Every five minutes, a new participant enters into the match. You can, there is a point system. If you get pinned, submitted, you get a point. But if you get pinned or submitted, you lose a point. And it's 25 minutes. Whoever has the most points in the win gets a championship opportunity of their choosing. Did you follow that? Because I ain't repeating that twice. So the participants are Roxanne Perez, Cora Jade, Indy Hartwell, Kiana James, and... Um, I should have pulled up the thing on my computer. Yeah, it's Indy, Cora, Roxanne, per, uh, Roxanne, Kiana, and Zoe Stark. Okay, there we go. I, I didn't know if I said Zoe twice, but I do apologize. I just wanted to get that off my head, and I didn't want to cheat. This is going to be an absolute mess. Um, I like the, the concept is not bad. It's just going to be the execution. And the execution, I think, is going to be absolutely clustered. Who I think might win... I'm probably going to have Roxanne win. They may give it to Indy. And if Indy, Indy's most likely going to lose, and they're going to send her up onto the main roster. Um, I think that's what's going to happen. They're going to probably going to give it to Indy. Have her get a chance at um, Mandy, and they're most likely she's most likely going to lose. So there you have it. So then we get to the men, which is Joe Gacy, Carmelo Hayes, Grayson Waller, Axiom, 
and um, Axiom. Wait, hold up. I again, I really do apologize. I really should have had notes, but it's Gacy, Axiom, Hayes, Waller, and um, damn it, who there was a there's another heel. It's all heels. Um, oh, Christ, I'm gonna feel so stupid for this. I really do apologize for this, folks, but. I have so much on the brain right now that I don't know what I'm doing, but hey, what 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 are you gonna do? What are you going to do? Let me pull it up. That's not how you spell deadline. That's dead lion with an E at the end. Technical difficulties, folks, not even once. Um, yeah, it's it's Axiom because he won the triple threat. It's Axiom, Gacy, Waller, Hayes, and God, jeez, I forgot. I'm literally blanking on this. I really do apologize for this, folks. And it doesn't help that my connection is not working. Hooray! It is going to be... Okay, come on, come on, come on. I'm wasting time here. Hold up. God, it feels like I'm part of a live stream and now everyone is just watching me with this. I feel so embarrassed. Um, It is J.D. McDonough. That's who it is. Jordan Devlin. Jesus. I apologize, folks. I feel so dumb. Now I don't know. Now I don't need to pull that up anymore because I know what the main event is. So, yeah. It's Devlin, Gacy, Waller, Hayes, and Axiom. Four heels, one face. Yeah, this dynamic's gonna work. They're most likely gonna give it to Hayes. Um, because if you give if you give it to Hayes, I wouldn't go after the North American title because Wesley's already kind of dealing with Dijak and uh Tony D'Angelo. He's most likely gonna go over to the, uh, go to the XC championship, which would be smart. Again, this is most likely gonna be a cluster, but I have Hayes winning. Then we get to the main event, which is Apollo Crews versus Rex Steiner. I think that this is going to be a really good match. The way they build it up is a bit wonky, but I think it's kind of interesting how they did it. Crews is not going to win. It's obviously going to be Steiner. If Crews wins, I wouldn't be against it. I'd be shocked, but I'm pretty sure they're going to go with Steiner with this. Uh, it should be a really good match. I really expect these two to have a really, really, really good match. And, yeah, Steiner's going to win, and... Once he drops the title, they're going to put him up on the main roster. Like, if he is not world champion by SummerSlam, I'm going to be absolutely shocked. So, there you have it. Those are my NXT deadline 2022 predictions. I apologize for having a brain fart on the Men's Iron Survivor Challenge, but so much going on in the old noggin. So, who do you think is going to win? Let me down in the comment section below. Be tuned, um, be tuned for tonight because I'm going to be doing my SmackDown review. So... Yeah, there you have it. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, tap the little bit for more notifications. Join the herd. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace out.